Right, back to game. No, stats, no, run, no, mod, no, quit, no. Hey guys, Dano921 here. Welcome back to my modded Minecraft survival let's play. Episode 24, I believe. Um, last episode we... God, what did we do? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we made this and we made this. So we can now fly. Ha ha. Best sound effects ever. Um... So, what I said in the end of last episode was about getting into blood magic, which we could probably do. I mean, it's not actually that bad to do. So, let's have a look. So, we need that. We need eight of those. What? Gold and diamond. So, it's fairly simple for that. So, get that and a diamond. And we can go ahead and make that, and then make that. So, that's the blood altar. Now, we need an item. Because we can't just use the blood altar. There's something we need to use. Is that it, Dagger of Sacrifice? No, it's a sacrificial orb, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Um, gold, iron, and glass. Fairly straightforward. There's the iron. And there's the glass. So, yay! We're actually getting into blood magic. I've, I absolutely love this mod for some unknown reason. Um, right, so, we have our sacrificial orb. And the first thing I want to go ahead and make is the wig blood orb. So, we need a tier 1 altar with 2,000 life points and a diamond. Fairly simple. The other thing that I do want to get pretty much instantly is the divination sigil, which we need a blank slate, wig orb, and that. So the blank slate is just stone in a tier 1 altar. Okay. No! Why? Why? Just why? Why is that a thing that you do? You just... No. You don't do that. God damn it, Creeper. No. I don't care. No. No. Naughty. Luckily, nothing important got blew up. Unfortunately, my chest did, but... It destroyed the chest. Oh, oh. It destroyed my drum. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Arrgh. This is why I bloody hate creepers. All they do is come in, blow up, and ruin your day. I had things planned, and now I've got to bloody do this cleaning up. God damn it. Arrgh. Creeper, creeper. Arrgh. I really do hate those bloody things. <sighs> nope, can't even do that because I need the chest. Um, luckily, it didn't blow anything up inside the chest because I would have seriously been angry if it did that. <sighs> right. Luckily, nothing important was lost I hope I can't believe he blew up my bloody thing you know what no don't, don't even care do not even care I'm doing it no wrong one 
I, I don't care. Um, drum. Empty drum. Don't know how many buckets. I think, I think there's like 20 buckets. So. Um, fluid. Duct. I'm pretty sure it was the opaque one. But I'm not. I'm not even mad. I obviously I'm mad. Huh. That's not even the right place now. God damn it! No. Right. I'm gonna put like. I don't know. I'll do. Like, I, I really don't care that I cheated. I'm not having that. Right. Let's go, shall we? Right. So, I'm thinking this is a pretty decent place to go ahead and um, do my stuff. So, what I'm thinking is let's clear this out because i'm thinking about putting my blood altar up here um having this as my little outsidey blood altery area like i do like building them indoors but planning the room out why too much effort so um i think it's 100 life points per heart yeah I think it is so that should be enough to put that in no because it's got to fill its bank up first as well no that's not going to be enough unfortunately so i'm going to have to put a little bit more in hopefully not too much more hopefully that should do why not okay that won't do so I need to wait until my health regens so I can uh, put some more stuff in. Now I'm not sure if there's actually a, a way that I can get um, good life regen. I think there's a Britannia flower that will do it, which I may end up doing. Because that, uh, that would definitely help out quite a bit. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Britannia, um, I'm pretty sure there is a flower that will, um, basically give me life regen. So I may have to delve into Britannia for that. But I don't know how far in it is, so that's not great. So I might have to uh, look into that. But um, for now I'm just going to have to stand here unfortunately and click, click, click. Which is not the, uh, the most fun thing to do but hey what can you do. Um, I can't think if this is anything else that will give me life regen apart from potions obviously. Hmm. Regen. Flask of restoration. Regeneration in two minutes. Regen two. This module gives you regeneration three bonus when using the environmental controller. RF tools. Um, vial of regen. That gives regen two. Which is botanical brewery. And this is also botanical brewery. Well, Britannia. It may be an idea to make some of these. And it's not too difficult. Ah, gas tear. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look into it. But um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to AFK for a little bit. Fill up that altar. And hopefully get some, uh, get some stuff going. So I'll see you in a moment.
Right, so I've got the blank slate, and I've also found out that it's the Fallen Canade from Britannia that gives you life regen. So I may end up making that, but I need the Runic Altar, which is pretty far into Britannia. I mean, it's not, not massively far, but yeah. I don't know, I may think about doing it. Um, but f for this moment, I want to go ahead and get this done. And I believe it's... I don't even have a blood orb. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I think there's enough uh, life points in here to get this diamond up and running. Hopefully. I'm just going to put a couple more in. I believe there's 2,000 in here. I'm not 100% sure. I hope there is. Because um, if not, that's going to suck. Come on. Yes. No. Maybe. Let's put another couple in. This always gets me like, kind of paranoid at the start. Because you, you genuinely don't know how many's in there. I mean, it's still got blood in, so I'm kind of hoping for the best here. Yeah? No? Come on. No. There wasn't enough. Are you kidding me? There's... There's so much in there! You know what? I'm going to um, start doing Britannia. Because, yeah. Apparently that doesn't like being a thing, so it's not going to be a thing. Um, so I'm hoping I've got some different flowers. Um, hopefully I've got the flowers I actually need, because that would be a problem if I didn't. Boom, and then Petal Apothecary. No, because it's... Grr. There we go. Right, Petal, Petal Apothecary. And it's just going to go there for now. So, what do I need to do? Um, so, for the Fallen Canade, I'm going to need white, yellow, orange, brown. Do I have those? Orange. I don't see any of the others. White, yellow and brown. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go searching. That kind of sucks. But, you know what? I'm not doing anything and all, all I'm doing is waiting for my blood magic to, uh, to do stuff. So, I might as well go searching. And there's some mystical white flowers already. That's beautiful. Um, I don't actually know how many of each of these I need because I believe I need white for the pure daisy as well. So, hmm, I don't know. That's bombs of plenty. So, I'm going to go searching for stuff. Which will be fun. Um, so I shall see you probably in a little bit. Right, so I think I've got a couple of flowers that I'm going to need. And I feel like I should probably make the Botanica Lexica. Lexica Botania. So I just need any sapling and a book. Should be simple enough. Um... Actually, I already have a book. And just any sapling, I believe. Yes? Yeah. Right. Ta-da! Achievements! Perfect. So, I need to get the fallen... That fallen canade. This is not going to be simple. So, the first thing that I'm going to need is the Pure Daisy. So, for the Pure Daisy, 
I'm gonna need four mystical white petals. Should be easy enough. Um, boom, four, done. Uh, I also need a book art and some water. Also, this jetpack is absolutely beautiful. Like, it is so good. Um, one, two, three, four, and I just forgot that I need some seeds as well. So, hopefully I've got some in here. No. Do I? Yeah, I've got some seeds. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, right, so I dropped some seeds. Pure daisy. Perfect. So, I need to get some living wood and some living rock. That's pretty much the first step. So let's just get four of each for now. Because I believe that should be enough. There we go. So that will get doing its thing. And while we're waiting, I can always go over here and put some blood into this. Because I... I Honestly, do not know how much is in there. I'm just going to keep putting some in. So, we've got our very first flower. God damn it, I keep taking it out of there. Don't want that. So, we need to get some... Well, we need to get some mana. And the best thing to do for that is probably the day bloom for some basic mana. So for that we're going to need yellow, blue and orange. Okay. Yellow, blue and orange. So let me just put some stuff away. So we've got the blue. We've got some yellow. And we've got some orange. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of yellow, so I'm going to have to look for some more of that. Luckily, I believe that this is exactly what I'm looking for. And it is. And this over here as well. Yeah. Perfect. So, we should have enough yellow now. Um, I, I love this glider. So cool. So we need... Um, okay, so for every two of these, we need one of these. And this is per flower. So you know what? We could just do that. Make ten of the things. Oh, I've still got my glider on. I also kind of want to bring this over somewhere near the water. So, down here she'll do. Uh, this is obviously completely temporary, but it'll work. And I don't have any seeds on me because I forgot to do the thing. God damn it. Yeah, without the glider, the... the Thing kind of sucks, but luckily we we have the glider. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a bit slow, but I'm kind of trying to do both blood magic and Britannia at the same time, so I may get a little bit confused at times. Speaking of which, aha, um, where am I? Um, yeah, so I might get a little bit confused at times, but it should be fine. All right, so turn all those in, turn all those in. And turn all those in. Boom. Right, so I'm going to make a decent amount of these. What, like five of them? You know what, for now, five, five is good. For now, five is good. So we need to now 
go ahead and get a mana pool. So we need five living rock. So that wasn't enough. I thought that was enough. But no, it was not. Uh, let me get my lumber axe and boop. So once that's done, we should have what we need for the distilled mana pool. Um, it's a shame that we didn't have it, but you know, you can't win every time. Uh, I believe that I'm also going to need to make the uh, where is it? It's just do it this way; it'll be easier. Um, that the mana spreader. So we need six living wood, gold, and any petal. So we're also going to need some more wood as well. I thought four and four would have been enough, but no, no, it's not. And um, while we're doing this, I'm just going to go over here and check out our little mining cart, see how it's going. Bloody hell. It's going okay. Yeah, that's going not too bad. So, I've got a feeling that it has kind of stopped. Um, um, no, that's not working. Um, yeah, I've got a feeling it's stopped. I don't know why, but I do. No, 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 no. Was the chunk loader off? Yeah. So, um, it has to be active for the chunk loader for you to be able to turn the chunk loader on. And as you can see, now it's active. So, that was my own fault. Um, I didn't have the chunk loader active. So it wasn't going to work. Um, um, actually, I think it is quicker doing it with the glider on because it's making me go forwards. Um, um, I don't like making noises with that, it's quite fun. So we have our living rock, so we can make a pool. Now, I do essentially need two pools, um, and we do actually have enough for two, so I'm going to make two straight away, because you use the distilled one to turn it into a thing and then do a thing. So oh my god, the lag, oh, oh. computer's dying for some reason. Right, so if we put that there, we can then... Once this turns into living wood, we can get the things and do the thing and the thing and the thing and it'll be good and stuffs. So let me just, oh no, I don't want to put bread on there, get it off. Now I would have thought that this would probably have enough blood in it by now. Because I am putting quite a bit in, but again, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to leave it. I mean, leaving it ain't going to be a big problem anyway, because, I mean, I am kind of focusing on this so I can get the flower. But I think I'm going to have to leave it there for this episode. So what I might do uh, between this episode and next is I might get my orb, I might... Um, get it so we can actually just get the fallen canade so you guys don't have to watch me go through the process because it'll be easier that way um like if i do it myself instead of you guys having to sit through and watch me get all the way up to the canade i think that might be the uh, the best idea but for now i want to say thank you for watching and i shall see you next time